Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Central Eyes. And today we've got a fragrance haul. We've got four blind boys and they're all from the house of Frank Olivier. So recently Natina had a bit of a sale and I picked up four Frank Olivier fragrances and they were all dirt cheap, all under £15. I've got already a couple of Frank Olivier fragrances. I've got Amber, which I really enjoy, and I've got Oud Touch, which I really enjoy as well. So I thought I would dive in, try a few different ones. Um, didn't really know that much about them, but I thought I'd give them a try. So. The first one that I got is called Eau de Passion Men. Now this is a 50ml and it's an EDT. Don't really know what to expect. This was a bit of an um, impulse. I've been told to get a couple of fragrances by Frank Olivier, which I'm still on the the lookout for which I can't find for a decent price at the moment. Oudvani is one of them and then the other one was Sunrise Java. Now I've got something similar to that which I'll show you in a bit. So this is the box and nice little design like a blue splash on the front. It's got the Frank Olivier, the Eau de Passion, it's got the Frank Olivier badge there's a few details on the back and you've got a barcode and a few details on the bottom. So let's have a look at the bottle. Nice sky blue colour inside. Now this is a nice little bottle. That is gorgeous isn't it? You've got the chrome going around it with the Frank Olivier on, which looks really nice. Then you've got the blue splash, and then you've got like a plastic Perspex cap on it. A few details on the bottom. So let's give this a try. Now I've been told off by one of my subs about spraying onto paper, and I should be trying them on skin. The problem we have, and I'm sure a lot of other reviewers out there will tell you exactly the same. We're testing that many things. I've already got f like four different things on skin at the moment. Um, we're having to test all the time. So even doing these first impressions, I'll do them off paper. I will go back to them later. I will do um, full reviews if anyone wants them and I will do it on skin to do that. But just as an initial first impression, do them on paper. That's a really decent spray out on there. So I don't even know what to expect. Oh. Now, I'm enjoying this one already. This is a classic fougere smell coming up right now. That is beautiful. So you're getting lavender, you're getting sage, there's a bit of mint in there. You got the citruses as well. Probably lemon. It's quite harsh, the citrus. Bergamot maybe. Then there's a vetiver background to it. That is gorgeous. And you know what that's reminding me of straight away? Chanel's Platinum Egoist. I'll put the price on the screen. I'll, I'll go back into my emails and I'll find out exactly how much I paid for it. But I'll put the price on the screen and you'll see how good a deal it was. So this is classic fougere with the lavender and the aromatics in there. I think the mint is lovely in this. Definitely say it's a spring summer fragrance because of the mint and the citruses. 
but you've definitely got that classic fougere feel to it that is really nice that has surprised me i wasn't expecting that Oh yeah, I'm happy with that one. I just wish it was a bigger bottle now. <laughs> so next. Now, I was told by somebody to get the Sunrise Java. Now, I couldn't find the Sunrise Java at a good price, but I managed to find the Sunrise, which is the original Java being the flanker to it. So I thought I'd give that a try. And it's a 50 mil and it's an EDT again. So let's have a look at this one. Now, it doesn't really look much of a sunrise when you look at the, the box. Now, the sunrise Java is in the colours of a normal sunrise with the oranges and the yellows and the reds. So, I'm a bit, I thought uh, you'd think that the original would be like what a sunrise would look like and then any flankers would be a different take on it. But I'm happy with that. It's really nice, it's got a little sun on the bottom. It's got differing colors, as you can see, different blues going into silvers. It's got the Frank Olivier badge at the top, some details on the back, and once again, the barcode and more details on the bottom. So let's have a look at this bottle. Now, I thought this bottle was a bit, ah, yes it is. So, quite happy with that. Another good looking bottle. Sunrise, like a sky blue juice that's in there. I like the effect at the bottom, which is like a sun. Uh, it's got the chrome again with Frank Olivier and it. it's got a bigger Perspex cap. And it's got like the sun effect in there as well. So let's give this one a try. So I'm expecting something fresh for the summer, being a name like Sunrise, another really good atomizer. And once again, you're going down. It's got a bit of a fougere feel to it. Like a fresh aromatic. There's a sweetness in there. I am getting a bit of alcohol in the opening. I'm getting lavender. I'm getting bergamot. And there's a nice violet leaf in this as well. It's quite herbal. You're getting sage. Now sage, I've mentioned this before. It's one of them notes that when you smell sage, you can stop up your nose and you keep smelling it afterwards. Now I've got a clone of a fragrance called Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce and this smells along the lines of that. Not saying it's exactly like it, but it's definitely got that feel about it. That's nice again, really nice. Happy. So I think once again with that one, I think you're talking more spring, summer, the sort of thing you'd enjoy wearing during that time of year. Um, I would say once again, it was probably more male than feminine, but who knows? Anybody can wear anything, can't they? So the next one, and the next one, now I've mentioned earlier that I've got Oud Touch. So I managed to pick up a Night Touch. Now this is an 100ml and this is an EDT. Now I'm expecting this to be more of an evening scent, maybe. I don't know what makes me feel that. So, let's have a look at the box. So, it's got the little tree on, which is similar to what Oud Touch has got. Really nice the way it's done. It's got the Frank Olivier badge on the top. And once again, similar details on the back and on the bottom. So let's crack into it 
and have a look at the bottle, shall we? So this is just like the Oud Touch, but just different colorings. So you've got the bottle in there. It's a blue bottle. You can see it. It's got the blue Perspex top. It's got the tree in the middle again. That's the back. And a few details on the bottom again. So it's got Frank Olivier in the cap as well. So let's try this one out. Interested for this one. I don't really know what to expect again. I'm expecting a bit darker than the other two that I've just tried. Another good atomizer. So once again, you're getting quite a bit of alcohol in the beginning. I'll just wait a little bit. There's quite a bit of alcohol in this. It's reminding me straight away of something which, it's got a bit of a Bleu de Chanel feel, except like a spicier version. I think it's got bergamot in there. I think it's got pink pepper. It's definitely ambroxin in here. Some spices. I do get a touch of pineapple as well. Some vetiver. It's quite airy as well. It does have that blue designer feel. I'm going to enjoy that. That's another one I'm going to enjoy during the summer. Definitely. Um, definitely another one which probably leans more masculine. But another really enjoyable fragrance. So that last one being night touch I was expecting something a bit darker. Not nothing. I wasn't expecting it to be like a blue fragrance which it most obviously is. I mean, it's perfect for this time of the year that's gonna be coming up. Um, so this last one, maybe this is gonna be a bit darker and this is called In Black. So straight away you would think going along those lines, but who knows? I've been surprised once already. So, nice black box with silver detailing. It's got that bit of a splash again. It's, uh, it's got some chrome at the bottom. And it's got the details on the back. It's got the Frank Olivier in the top badge. And on the bottom, you've got the barcode details again. So they're all very similar to the way that they're set up, but you would expect that really. So let's take a look at this last bottle. So it's very similar sort of design to some of the others. It's got the black with the chrome. It's got the silver writing on. It's got that big badge on the back. It's got the Perspex cap. And it's got some details on the bottom. So let's give this one a try, shall we? and see what direction this one takes us in. So that one's coming out a bit more pressurized. So that one's coming out a bit different, smelling a bit different. So straight away off this one, we're getting more herbs coming through. Like sage. There's definitely um, citrus is in there. There's definitely some aqua notes in there. I'm getting a bit of a, a cool water sort of vibe from it. I'm 
maybe cool water mixed with something a bit sweeter like Invictus maybe there's even a bit of a, an eternity feel to it so I think it's got Ambroxan in there again what citruses probably lemon bergamot maybe a bit of orange the cedar definitely that's interesting again I'm a bit disappointed with it smelling a bit like cool water because I've got a few Virgin Isle of Water clones I've got cool water I mean I'm well adverse to cool water because I used to wear it during my youth I've even got the cool water intense but it's definitely got that cool water vibe so I'll just quickly go back through them and see so we'll go back to the Eau de Passion just give that another smell after it's dried down a little while and it's definitely got that fougere smell to it you can pick a bit more of the vetiver up now that's really nice I'm happy with that one I'm really happy with that one fougere is my bag sunrise let's quickly try this one again just a reminder what it looks like so now I'm going to you're still getting similar sort of things with the citruses the violet leaf the herbs but now I'm going a bit of tonka bit of sandalwood that's really enjoyable I like that one and it definitely has that fierce vibe about it I wouldn't say it's exactly like it but it definitely has that vibe so night touch so this is the one that I was getting the Bleu de Chanel vibe now that's different so the lemon and pineapple seem to be pushing up together now it doesn't smell as much like Bleu de Chanel there's a bit of a Mont Blanc legend feel to it that's really nice happy with that one another one I'm happy with I think getting a bit of vetiver and patchouli in there as well and lastly the in black which I've only just smelt so there shouldn't be much difference definitely getting that cool water vibe I do like it yeah I do like it it is a DNA which I enjoy it might be a bit old school for some people with that cool water smell because I mean I th to me cool water I don't look at as being old school but a lot of the youngsters now they look at cool water as being old school but I remember wearing it when I was young so I still associate being young and wearing it it's the same with a lot of the other old school stuff that I used to wear but have you tried any of the Frank Olivier range let me know in the comments below there's a few others that I want to try like I said I want to try the um, vanilla one I want to try the Sunrise Java one um, is there any others you can recommend to me happy to take recommendations on let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content and I'll speak to you all soon stay fragrant not vagrant